welcome back it's Trisha Fulton here and in this short video I'm going to show you how to set up a subscription model in your Thrivecart account. To get started you'll need to log into Thrivecart and I'm going to show you straight from the products menu. I'm going to change screens now just give me one moment. Okay here we go. So at the top menu of Thrivecart where you can see the header, we have the dashboard products, transactions, partners and learn. You need to go to the products section and that's where we are. Now most recently as in today, I just published a new course which you can get free access to. Here it is in. It's called Thrivecart Success Formulas and Funnels by Tricia. I'll put a link in the comments below so you can access it. I recommend you sign up. It's totally free. There's lots of really good information in there. This is the course here in full. So I'm going to edit the checkout page. Head over to pricing. So this one has already been built, this checkout page. And what I'm doing is going back and setting up a subscription if this is what I would want. Under pricing, choose add pricing options, add subscription, monthly, say whatever price it's meant to be and indefinite. So what's going to happen here is that when someone goes to do the checkout on the product that you're selling, they'll have an option to choose any one number of payment options that you provide to them. The first option that you can make to people is a one-time fee. The second option is a subscription, a split pay or a pay your own price. For the demonstration purposes in this video, I'm showing you how to set up a subscription. So you choose subscription, choose the frequency that you want someone to be paying, the monthly price or the, when you choose frequency, say it's daily, today's price, <clears throat> perhaps I'm going to do a promo at 50 cents and then it's indefinite or it could be a custom amount of rebills, say 20. So it's a total of $10. <clears throat> that they'll be doing. Okay, and do you want a limited? And that's literally all you have to do. You can also send a confirmation email that every time that they're going to be rebuilt, you just click this button here. Now, I actually don't want this on this account because this is a free course. So I'm just going to delete. Okay, there we are. <clears throat> And we're all done. So if I wanted to have that, it would be listed here as an item. It's really that simple. Let's go through it one more time, just in case. So we're going to choose subscription. We want it to be daily, daily price of $1. But if you sign up today, it's only 50 cents. Um, there's no trial period. I'm going to say, let's do this for 30 days. So 30 plus one, that's today plus another 30 days. And I want you to get an email on rec um, to let you know that you're going to be billed for it. And then I would go next, save. And now you can see the subscription option is there. So uh, let's go back to the, I'm just going to save and get the URL <clears throat> so you can see this for yourself. When someone comes to the checkout page, they'll see they can have a one-time payment, pay your own price or subscription. Um, and all these other things that are here. So I actually don't want to have a subscription. That's a free course. So I better change this before you sign in. I hope you found that very easy. If I want to make some changes, I go edit product settings, go to pricing and remove the subscription. Okay, that's it. So easy. I hope you found that helpful. Have a great day.